Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. On today's video, um, I'm actually just going to be talking about five unsafe things for your sugar glider. So make sure to stay tuned till the end of the video. I wanted to show you guys some of the things that I recently bought from Jessica's Addict on Facebook. So these are little kaleidoscopes. They are for treat foraging. Um, I got a few of these because I really don't have anything for the girls to forage. So I got them these. And then Christmas is right around the corner. So I got these super cute Christmas trees. I got these wreaths and they match the Christmas trees, which is why I got them. They're like the same clear, um, clear but colorful kind of theme. And then I got some all green Christmas trees and I'll show you them out of the bag so you can really see. And then the last thing I got are these cute little clip holders, like C-Link holders, and they are little snowflakes, but you can just use them, you know, for anything. So I'll take one of each out so you guys can see them out of the box. So this is what they look like. So cute, I can't wait to start working for this. Um, as you guys know, I'm not going to be doing a November giveaway, but I will do a December giveaway. And that might or might not be my last giveaway for a while, still not sure. So make sure you enter for December. Hi, pretty mamas. What are you eating? Say, we just eating some sugar cane. Nom, 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 nom. Thank you, Exotic Nutrition. So the first thing that you want to avoid as a sugar glider owner, um, as you guys can see today, I decided to film outside and I only say that because what you want to avoid is fireflies and actually ladybugs. They, um, there's a few other animals that you're going to want to avoid, but I feel like in general, just don't feed your sugar gliders any wild animals that are from outside. Make sure that if you're going to feed them like mealworms or superworms or hornworms, that you order them from a reputable site. So if you guys wanted to know where I get mine, I use dubiaroaches.com as well as Josh's Frogs. Um, so those are two of the uh, networks or sites that I use. Um, so yeah, make sure you... The next thing that you're going to want to avoid, which I think a lot of people already know, kind of similar to if you have a cat or a dog, you do not want to give your pet any chocolate. Chocolate is not good for any animals. It will make them sick. It can be their cause of death. Um, so make sure you guys avoid chocolate. If you're eating something chocolate, drinking something chocolate, make sure that the gliders are away, they're in their cage, they're secured, etc. because you would not want to have to pay a hospital bill for something that could have been avoided. And um, of course, you don't want your sugar gliders health depleting or just being at risk. So no chocolate, keep the chocolate away. So being that we are actually in the holiday season and right now we're in November, which means next month will be Christmas. So actually guys, comment below, what's your favorite holiday? So do you like Halloween? Do you not like the holidays? Do you like Christmas? Let me know down below. But um, like I was saying, the next thing that you're gonna wanna avoid, and I bring this up because it is Christmas season, is going to be pine. So you guys are just gonna wanna completely avoid letting your sugar glider go on your pine, cedar, whatever, uh, Christmas tree, as it can cause lung irritation, and you would not want that to happen. Sugar gliders are very small, it is toxic to them. So um, with that being said, if anything, get your sugar gliders their own little fake Christmas tree that you can take pictures on or something like that but don't really let them next to your house Christmas tree maybe unless it's artificial and you're still going to want to watch them so 
So the next thing I'm going to talk about that you're going to want to avoid as a sugar glider owner is something that actually most people, when they first get their sugar gliders, depending where they get them from, they actually sometimes have this item and it's pretty sad because it could really affect your sugar glider. So for example, if you're getting your sugar glider at one of those backyard breeders or like those little uh, pet conventions that like have like a million little gliders or whatever, I don't know about those things. I see about them. I don't think we have any of that where I live at. Um, but those places usually will market leashes and they will have that with the sugar gliders. They are extremely dangerous as um, many people have actually used them for years successfully. But the thing is that it would be extremely easy for you to have the leash around your sugar glider's neck or even like it's um, just kind of its upper body. And you know, just by the way that they generally move, their movement would possibly cause injury. So their um, little wings, they're not really called wings, I don't even know how to say what it's called, but their little parts that open up for them to glide um, can 100% be damaged and cause a severe injury, if not death, if they were to jump with while you were holding the leash. And, um, you know, I'm sure you can imagine the scenario. So just avoid leashes. If you have a leash right now, I would honestly suggest that you kind of just get rid of it, use a bonding pouch, maybe try to train them, because a lot of people like to use the leashes so they can bring them outside. Just don't do it, avoid it. You wouldn't want to see a horrible glider death. So um, yeah, just start trying to train them. Look for videos maybe that um, help you with hand taming and keeping them on you. And then if you feel ready and like safe, then you can bring them out no problem and let them do them. I personally would never let my sugar gliders outside, but I just don't think that they would ever come back to me. I don't think that we're that bonded that they would come back. And um, because they're already domestic animals they would not survive in the wild so you always want to make sure you are keeping on top of your sugar gliders and being responsible something else that people usually assume is fine for your sugar gliders but can actually cause problems are putting them in any kind of constricting clothes or like diapers like you will see pictures of gliders in diapers which for the same reason can become very dangerous it just also generally restricts their movement and I think it's important that everyone remembers that these are wild animals and um, I feel like any owner should try to make sure that they're giving them as much free freedom as they can get so something like a diaper is just not suggested and it's not needed um, they're not I mean I when I say it's not needed I'm sure there could be use for it but it's just not safe so don't use it just let them do their thing if you don't want them to pee and poop on you uh which mines have yet to do um i hope that i don't jinx it saying that in this video but mine have yet to do that and what i usually do is just make sure that they're out for about 30 to 40 minutes before i actually take them out let them get their peas out their poops out and then when they do do their thing around the room it's not on me it's usually just like on the floor or wherever they're hopping and gliding around so yeah guys i think i mentioned pretty much everything um so those are the five things that are super unsafe and just not recommended for your sugar gliders um I hope this video was helpful for you guys make sure to like this video um, comment below and if you are new to my channel and this is your first time seeing this content I hope seeing my content I hope that you enjoyed and you hit that subscribe button so that you can keep up with me my channel my sugar gliders and my chameleon um, with that being said you guys thank you so much for watching I appreciate you all Make sure that you guys are paying attention. In December, there will be a giveaway and that's gonna be super fun. It's gonna be Christmas theme. So yeah, guys, bye. Thank you so much for watching.